What is up everybody? Today's gonna be a little bit different because we normally do a cooking video for Keto Savage Kitchen on Wednesdays or Thursdays. So we're gonna do that, but I wanna kinda give y'all a behind the scenes on that for the actual vlog. So today's vlog is gonna be a little bit shorter. It's gonna be talking about kinda like how we make up the videos for Keto Savage Kitchen. And as it relates to deeper state, good kinda meal planning and recipe ideas for incorporating into the course. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Get ready. We're gonna make some kind of like salmon cro croquettes, croquet, however the heck you say those things, but those little salmon patties that, that people eat all the time, except we're probably not gonna use salmon, so it's gonna be good. By the way, I opened up the keto brick, and I never stuck this in the freezer. I just pretty much let it come to room temperature. So if, if you're living in a hot spot, and the USPS truck gets super crazy hot, you might be getting the keto blob instead of a keto brick, but it's still gonna taste good. Yeah, it's a little little chunky, not really in a brick form, but let's see how it tastes. Macros are still on point, flavor is still on point. This might be getting an interesting shape, but not quite as pretty. If it comes to you melted, that happens, just let it come to room temp, stick it in the freezer. It's still gonna all be self-contained. I do apologize for the uh, the beauty of it not being as pronounced though. It still tastes good though. I'm gonna get the Vinci Americano. All right, y'all, if you don't feel like, actually, if you feel like there's not enough time in the day to get everything done that you need to get done, that you want to get done, then, then, then we're speaking the same language. If you feel like you just got all the time in the world, then we ain't speaking the same language, but head to the store right now to get some stuff for a recipe we're gonna make. We're gonna try and make mackerel croquettes. You have heard of salmon croquettes, but I want to try it with macros, that's what we're gonna do. So normally we do a Keto Savage Kitchen on Wednesday or Thursday, we do a recipe, but since we're doing a vlog today, we're just gonna combine the two, and we're just gonna make the kitchen recipe cooking thing in the vlog. We're gonna make mackerel croquettes, rat hole foods, here we go. All right, so the first ingredient, pork rinds, here we go. By the way, get Epic brand, they're the best. They have the cleanest ingredients. They're the bomb diggity. All right, you could obviously use whatever kind of fish you want, but I'm going to use mackerel because I've been on a mackerel kick lately. It's got really good mackerel, so that's what I'm going with. We're gonna put some grated or shredded Parmesan in there as well to kind of hold things together. We're gonna to get some green onions to kind of give it some flavor as well. I'm all about my onions. We're also getting some almond flour. We're gonna use about one tablespoon of this in the mix as well. All right, so we want to fatten this up because the fish is pretty lean and the pork rinds are pretty lean. Not very much fat, so we're gonna fatten it up with some Primal Kitchen mayo, which is made with avocado oil. Here are all of our ingredients. We're about to get started. Go ahead and drain your mackerel, and then you can go ahead and uh, crunch up your pork rinds. All right, y'all, so now, super simple. We're basically just throwing everything together in this mixing bowl, mixing it up, so we got 28 grams of pork rinds, we got one whole egg. We got one can of mackerel. We got one tablespoon of almond flour. And we're gonna do one tablespoon of, actually I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this Parmesan. Two tablespoons of that. And then I'm gonna get these chives here. I'm just gonna chop up some chives in there. Probably about a couple tablespoons worth. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna mix it all up together now. All right, so now all we're gonna do is put this into a one big patty. Use your hands, get dirty. Now that I have it in a bowl, I'm going to go ahead and flatten it 
put it in a skillet and then uh, flatten it out just like a burger patty. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of the Primal Kitchen mayo. It's about 30 grams there. And that's gonna basically be our topping for this beautiful little macro friendly mackerel croquette. Boom. So the macros on this mackerel croquette are uh, 53 grams of protein, 1.5 grams of carbs, and 59.8, so 60 grams of fat, for a total of um, 763 calories, which breaks down to about 28.3% protein, 0.8% carbs, and 70.9% fat. So this is like a perfect example of how to get a good macro ratio meal with very minimal carb intake. And this is gonna be pretty filling. Like I'm, <clears throat> Ooh, can't talk. I'm excited to dig into this thing here. Do a little bite, sample bite on camera here. See, I can eat that every day of deeper steak and I'd be happy. This is good. It's easy. It's all pretty much pre-cooked except for the egg. You just mix it all up, throw it in a bowl, call it good. Very good. All right, y'all. We'll catch y'all later. I'm at the Starbucks drive-thru yet again. It's gonna be another late night. So uh, I gotta get me some cup of java here. Get my normal Americano. I had to shave, I was looking too scruffy for my liking, but let's go get this coffee real quick. Thank you much. I like my coffee. Thanks, sir. Awesome. Thank you, have a good one. All right, coffee has been gotten. Let's see how she tastes. It's really cold. There's no way this is hot coffee. Mm, not as good as expected. Anywho, I want to talk real quick on being sincerely and genuinely happy for people. Um, that's something I'm really trying to work hard on and improve. The king of that is Danny Vega. Danny Vega, if you follow Danny Vega, he's awesome. If you don't follow Danny Vega, you should definitely follow him. But he is like the best at this. Anybody that's just successful or happy or just doing great, he's just like genuinely happy for them. He's not like a fake superficial put on a mask happy for them. He like cares about people and it's obvious like he shouts people out all the time. He puts forth a lot of effort in helping other people and just showering them with happiness and that is really impressive to me. It, it, takes, it takes time, it takes dedication, it takes effort and uh, I appreciate that Danny because it's freaking awesome. Um, but yeah I'm really trying to work on that myself. I just got little Instagram notification that Matt and Mega just got engaged this, uh, today and in, in Hawaii they're in Hawaii right now and just got engaged and I'm incredibly happy for them that is awesome like I don't know you you see these people online you see them on social media you see them on YouTube and you have to ask yourself are they actually like that are they real are they genuine are they who they portray themselves to be on the internet and when I went and spent a week with Matt and Mega working on deeper state like they exceeded my expectations. Like they were better than what I saw on the internet, and they're they're super cool people, and I'm super happy for them right now. They've worked really hard. They're seeing success. They're killing it, and I'm just truly, genuinely, sincerely happy for them. Like they got they got a bright future ahead, and it's it's just awesome to see that take shape. So congrats, Matt and Mega, on the engagement. Y'all y'all enjoy all the success and happiness you get in life. Um, y'all deserve every bit of it. But yeah, that said, I don't want to just go on a crazy rant here, but yeah, just um, work on that, y'all. Work on being happy for people. The hard part is being happy for people that you don't like. That takes extreme skill. But if you can be happy for people that you would rather be mean towards, then you are so much more the better person for it. Um, 
but yeah, just being happy for people in general, like, truly caring about your fellow man or woman, obviously, uh, and just caring about people, that's, that's, that's a val valuable skill to have. All right, it's going to be late night tonight, I'm going to be grinding out some emails, some deeper state questions, um, some client uh, communications, so I'm going to be up late, I'll catch y'all tomorrow, happy day three, day four, day four, deeper state, take care.